Hi, I'm Jeff Gordon, professional NASCAR driver. I'm here to teach you driving techniques that are very special to NASCAR racing. NASCAR is a race series with a lot of history, having started back in 1947. Though they're still called stock cars, today's NASCAR race cars are built on steel tube frames. NASCAR regulations require the car to be 3,400 pounds, which is kind of heavy for a competition racing car, but because of this, driving techniques for NASCAR require that much more precision, care, and finesse. The engine is a 358 cubic inch carbureted overhead valve V8. Now just hearing this, it might sound like old technology to you. But that's really not the case. Even though these NASCAR engines are OHV, they rev up to 10,000 RPM. Any engine expert would know that this requires the same level of technology as an F1 racing, which has double overhead cam engines revving up to 20,000 RPM. The transmission is a four-speed. That's why you have to select the gear ratios to match each track. This setup of gear ratios is very important. In NASCAR, there's less difference in the performance of each race car, as compared to other categories of racing. That's why just a slight difference in the settings or the difference in driver skill can lead to winning or losing. Most NASCAR races are on an oval track. Though an oval track is very simple in shape, it's that very shape that makes it require unique driving techniques. One of the first things you'll need to learn is drafting in other people's slipstream. The closer that you get to the car in front of you, the more you reduce aerodynamic drag of your car to overtake your opponents. Drafting is a technique that is of course required in all kinds of racing, but on an oval track, it becomes crucial. Because there are no low speed corners, you can draft at any time. But remember, the better the draft, the less the downforce. Enough with the talking, let's get you into the car. You ready to drive? I'll see you on the track. Ready? Ready? 